Hi, it's been a while. I kind of just woke up this morning and felt like filming a video, so that's what I'm gonna do. This is a confessions video, but don't worry, this is not just your run-of-the-mill like, oh, everybody loves this song, but I think it's shit. No, no, those are boring and overdone and we're we're over that, okay? This is very specific thoughts that I probably had at four o'clock in the morning. But you know what? They're my thoughts that I had at four o'clock in the morning. And we're gonna sit here and we're gonna laugh at them because they're funny and stupid and they're very specific and probably not very relatable, but they're funny and we can laugh at them and they're my 4 a.m. thoughts at four o'clock in the morning. So let's laugh at them. Okay, let's get this one out of the way first because it's probably the most like early K-pop stan kind of cringy one that I have, but I think it's kind of funny and I don't think it's one that I've really ever heard before. So whenever I first got into K-pop, which was probably back in like late 2016, early 2017, I was very picky about the kind of groups that I would get into. And one of the groups that I really, really, really came to like really early on and was probably really one of the only ones that I knew the members of and listened to most of the music was Newest. And I really like Newest. I still really, really like Newest. But this was very early on into my K-pop career. I didn't really know much about K-pop at the time and I kind of heard that they had been having a bit of trouble and I knew that they had went ahead and gone on the show. I didn't know what Produce was or what any of it had entailed. I didn't even know what IOI was on the time or Produce 101 or whichever one it is. I still don't really know. I kind of hated Produce shows after this or just any in that survival show in general. But I just knew they were on the show and that it would hopefully do something good for them. Everybody seemed to kind of hype it up. So like, I was happy for them. And then, long story short, one one debuted. And Midian debuted with them. And let me tell you, I was pissed, but not for what you think. No, I didn't watch the show. I didn't even know who was in the damn group. I didn't know if Becco or JR or Rin or whoever the hell else should have been or shouldn't have been in the group. No, I was pissed that Minhyun was in the group. This was one of the only groups that I really knew and you're taking them away from me. And like I said, I was like 14 in 2017, so please keep that in mind. But I didn't really know what was going on and it was just like, such a sudden thing and I was I was so petty about it I mean if I even heard the word wanna the tv was off the remote was across the room and I was on the floor like I was pissed and to this day and I love I really really like all of the 101 like post activities I love their solos I love the groups that came out of it obviously I love and still really like newest in Minhyun but I just still will not listen to 101. I don't know if it's pettiness or if I just don't have the same nostalgia that everyone else did because I didn't listen to them at the time, but like, I'm still kind of petty. And yeah, I really did not like 101. Anyways, this one isn't so much a lapse in my judgment, rather just a funny little habit that I've had to break. But whenever I was younger and I was first getting into K-pop, I also have a little brother that's about eight years younger than me, so he was probably about five or six at the time. And while I wouldn't really say he liked K-pop, he kind of liked whatever I liked, so he'd kind of like jam out and listen to the songs with me whenever he wanted to. And for some reason, in his five, six-year-old little brain, he could not understand that Luna is not just one person, okay? And I tried, I tried so hard to explain to him like, there's 12, 12, a dozen, 12 people in Luna. And he just could not wrap his head about it. And I don't know if you've ever tried to argue with a five or six year old little brat, but there's no winning. Even if you win, you don't lose. Even if you win, you don't win. There is no winning. You are a loser no matter what in this situation. So I just kind of adopted the fact that Luna is one person. And to this day, I still refer to Luna as a she or a her. Like, I'll be talking about Luna and be like, oh yeah, Luna just released a new song. I think it's one of her best yet. And I still have to like correct myself every once in a while. And it's just a really funny little tidbit that I have. Anyways, speaking of names, this one isn't so much a confession, but just something that I kind of do. And hopefully this one is relatable. I really hope I'm not the only person that does this. But I am so bad whenever an idol, like, if they only go by their stage name or they, they only go by their real name and they suddenly, like, switch and they either, like, change their stage name or stop using their stage name. That one's the worst for me. Or they, like, 
I think I got too attached to some trainees because I've had a lot of idols debut recently and they like I only knew them by the real name and now they use a stage name and it's like if there were 10 trainees before there's 20 of them now because each one is two people now in my mind anyways I'm so bad about learning their new name or their stage name or whatever but by far the worst I mean I mean it's been like a year and a half by this point like I should be over it by now but by far the worst and it is so bad especially on twitter i will be scrolling through twitter and his twitter is like so professional it's this really nice headshot of him that he has his profile is literally his name written out in both korean and english like fully written out and every time i will be scrolling on twitter for a year and a half now and see his profile and i see it and i think who the fuck is kim jong-hyun and i still to this day a year and a half later have to click on his profile scroll until i can find a picture of him and be like oh shit it's jr i don't know why it's such a hard concept for me to grasp he will never be kim jong-un i don't know who kim jong-un is but it is not jr okay and you know what's funny if it was like rin or beko i'd have no problem calling them mingyu or dongo they are mingyu and dongo just as much as they are rin and beko but jr jr is jr there is no changing that jr will forever be jr in my mind and I don't think it's ever gonna change. I'm also really bad about kind of pairing two groups together in my head and it's like really fun and cute whenever it's like Astro and Twice like they're kind of like the poppy groups you know they're the only two pop groups that I really listen to a whole lot like it makes sense and then Stray Kids and 80s like I've, I've never met somebody that likes Stray Kids and doesn't like 80s like it kind of makes sense you know and then Red Velvet and P1 Harmony that one don't make sense, but they're paired together in my head. And like, those are all fun and games. Because I know the groups really well, and like, obviously I'm not confusing Red Velvet for Pew and Harmony because who the hell would do that? But, Gravity and Very Very are the same group in my head. There is no differentiation between them. I know what you're thinking, like, oh, they're like two kind of new K pop groups. Like, obviously you think they're like, no, I, I know the difference between like Very Very, or not Very Very. I know the difference between like Drippin and insert new group k-pop boy group here but gravity and very very the same group in my head like between the both of them there's like eight members and four songs couldn't tell you which is which i know one of them has a member named kongman and i know one of them has a song called vidi vidi vichy which admittedly is a really good song but it takes me forever to find it every time i listen to it, to it because i literally cannot remember from one time to the next who sings the damn song that's all i know okay this one is a good one this one is the one that you've probably been waiting for. This one this one has a story time, so just get ready for it. So by the time AB6 debuted, I was pretty into them. Like I listened to a lot of music. I still really like their music. Their music has always been very, very solid. And I've always kind of known the members, but not enough to really say I was a big fan of the group before, just that I really like the music. And I remember specifically one day I needed to stay up late for something. I don't remember what. I think we were going on vacation maybe and I wanted to sleep in the car so I was trying to stay up really late. So I was trying to stay up to like 4 or 5 a.m. so I could just sleep the whole way there. But I remember needing to stay up really, really late. And I was like, okay, I need something to occupy my mind because otherwise, you know, 4 a.m. thoughts start coming out. And those are either really scary or really weird and either way they're not fun. And they came out anyways, but in a different way. So I was watching AB6 content and this is one of these things where like, I didn't have the thought, like I don't remember putting the two together in my mind, but I do remember realizing that I put the two together incorrectly. So I was watching AB6 content, just a whole bunch of it all at once, and I remember seeing or reading maybe somewhere that Kim Donghyun of AB6 has a twin, and I was like, okay, like that's cool information. And then, again, I don't remember really putting two and two together in my mind, but I, I know why I put two and two together in my mind. Because Kim Donghyun has a twin, right? And I think, I'm pretty sure, I, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure him and Kim Donghyun are pretty good friends, okay? And they have, like, the most similar names. And I'm, I know I've seen a clip of them together before, and I just, like, kind of put two and two together in my head at 4 o'clock in the morning, and I was like, hey, they're twins. Yeah. By the way, they're not twins. Um... And I thought that for a couple of months and like I never said anything really. I just remember thinking, oh yeah, Kim Dong Han and Kim Dong Hyun are twins. Like that makes sense, right? And then I was scrolling on TikTok one day and I remember seeing a video of Dong Hyun talking about his twin. And he was talking about like they're not like super, super close. So they don't really contact each other all that much. And I was like, 
what do you mean? Like, I remember seeing a clip of you two talking together like you were old friends and oh my god, it's because you are old friends. Oh my god, y'all aren't twins. Oh no. And that's how that's happened. Oh yeah. Okay. Last one. <laughs> this one is the most recent and also probably the most stupid. And I really hope I'm not the only one that made this mistake, but we're just going to go with it. I thought sage, you know, the color sage was red. Have you ever heard Sage by only one of? Okay. They literally sing red in the song. Okay, like that's like the main lyric. That's the only lyric I know. By the way, they don't say red. I'm pretty sure they say dread or dead. I don't remember, but it sounds like red. In the video is literally painted in reds and oranges. Like it makes sense, okay? Like it makes perfect sense. And it's one of the things like I think I I knew. I know Sage is not red. I know it's green, okay? But it just it made sense. Why in the hell is that song called Sage? And then I also just, I don't know, everybody kind of has the one song that like they sing in their head where they're like saying a word or something. I spell fast forward by twice every time I have to spell a word, which by the way, you don't spell fast forward very much, but you know what you do spell a lot? Together. I don't know if you know the song, but Together by Inks, it literally, I learned how to spell together like to get her like three separate words because I sucked at spelling. I still can't spell. I use autocorrect for everything. I'm looking at the stupid bullet thing that I have now and I spelled half of the words wrong. I use autocorrect for everything. And together is one of the words I know how to spell because to get her, like everybody knows how to spell those words, right? There's a song by Inks and it's literally the cheapest music video and song you'll ever hear, but it is the catchiest damn thing that you will ever hear. And I sing it every time I have to spell together, which by the way, you spell a lot, a hell of a lot more than fast forward. So it is probably the song that is on repeat in my brain the most. I've listened to that song twice. It is in my head 24 7 all the time. Anyways, that was this confession video. I hope you enjoyed. This was a roller coaster to think of. I've literally been sitting here 30 minutes and this is what I've came up with. So let me know your confessions or if any of these resonate with you or if I'm just stupid or hopefully you got a good laugh. Thanks for watching. See you next time, travelers. Okay, bye.